This was sort of a combined track two and four. We did a little bit of tandem in here. So we started out, I weights on my right foot, her weights on her right foot. We're going rock, travel step, kick, travel step, rock, travel step, kick, travel step. Optionally, I can go kick and kick step. Doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure that, especially for follows, she's getting her foot to a spot that I'm not going to kick it. Worthwhile. Cool. So then once we get here, I'm going to be directly behind her. My hands are sort of relaxed. I'm not grabbing her wrists. I'm grabbing her palms and kind of relaxing back here. We're going to start out with my weight on the right. And we're just going to take a step forward and a step back to really show that despite the fact that we have all this happening, it's the fact that I'm moving and the center point here is moving, that she's moving with me. That way, once we get this craziness happening here, we still have that dynamic. Cool. So then, weight of the right foot. We're going to do the basic. Five, six, seven, eight. Rock, travel, kick, travel, rock, travel. So then we took a look at the transition. The way this is going to work, we're taking a look at the last four counts of the transition. I'm going cross, step, kick, step, rock, step. That way I'm traveling back the whole time. So back, back, rock, step. Your follows? And follows, you are doing rock, step, kick, step, rock, step. Uh, making note that those rock steps are on opposite feet. You start out with your right foot like normal, and then you switch to your left for the tandem footwork. Cool. So then, once we get here, I have this spot where I swap hands. So I'm going cross step, swap step, rock step. Again, it's on that middle spot. I'm going away, swap, rock. We really want to think that I'm going away. The more I go away, the more it's going to encourage to have a really nice linear rock step. So then putting a tuck turn up front using the sort of jig walk pattern, we're going rock step, kick step, kick step, away, back, rock step. And then once we're here, we can go ahead and just continue to be the basic. So then to get into a cool move slash get out of it, we have a squish that happens here where I move this hand on a rock step to her back. So we're going rock, travel, kick. I move back and squish. And then we actually walk through the pattern. We go from a squish to a stretch and then back to a squish. And the way this stretch is going to work, if you see our standing straight up, we get this nice little diamond shape as we stretch away. So we go stretch. We get this diamond shape in our bodies. That way, I move away, it stretches in our arms, and eventually we can't go any further, so it actually turns into the shape. We're not aiming for the shape, we're aiming for a way, and the away causes the shape. So then doing that together, it's gonna go rock, travel, away, kick, rock, travel, away, kick, rock. And I'm sort of staying in place, just anchoring here. Then we can also go rock, kick, bam. She can also go, bam. We can also go together and bam. Anytime that we're doing that rock step, bam, we can use that. And it's just kind of a neat little thing. Cool. Um, last but not least, we started talking about how I can actually go with her a little bit. And I can go rock, travel, kick, rock away. And I can turn this way. We can actually do this from the other angle. We can go rock, travel, I turn with her. And then if I push here, we can get that turn there, and that's about where we stop. If we had gotten a little farther, you can actually go into here and do the transition again. Ha, boom, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, ha, boom, boom, ha. So we can go to that, we'll probably touch on that next week, but we have run out of time. So awesome, thanks for coming, this is Tandem. We'll see you next week.